I was in a pub in early June in 1997 on the north side of Dublin, and it was the night of the general election. Um, it was expected that the very next day, uh, Fianna Fáil, which has dominated Irish politics for for the previous 60, 70 years, would be returned to government after four or five years in opposition. And who walks in but a man called Bertie O'Hearn? And Bertie O'Hearn was visiting his local pub. The vote had closed, although it hadn't been counted. It was to be counted the next day. And he called me over to ask me a couple of questions. I was there uh, with another gang who, were, who, were, who were, had been out canvassing for an independent candidate. And he said, I heard you've been writing this stuff in the Sunday Business Post, which is a, a weekly uh, financial and business and political newspaper, about a, a senior Fianna Fáil politician who had taken a bribe of £30,000 during an election campaign in June 1989. Um, the politician hadn't been named uh, for legal reasons. It's a very restrictive media. So although we had very significant evidence, including a statement, a detailed statement on affidavit from an elderly gentleman who was the chairman of a company who was present in the room when his boss, the owner of the company, handed over an envelope full of cash to the politician in exchange for, he claimed, the rezoning of lands in North Dublin. Rezoning would of course involve multiplying the value of these agricultural lands um, if they were rezoned for housing for instance. 